You guys genuinely won't believe me when I tell you I just got canceled on. <sighs> it's fine. I'm gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I cannot believe this keeps happening to me. He seemed to have like a genuine apology, but he's like, I don't want you to wait around. I'm like, I actually already am. But I knew that if I if this happened, because you know this happens a lot, that I was gonna make a backup plan. So I'm gonna go out with Cassia. Right now, this is what I was supposed to be wearing to the date. I might be wearing it out. So we'll still do an outfit check. We got this asymmetrical top that I've worn once before. Leather pants, black Steve Madden boots. I look too cute to not go out. And I'm telling myself that. You are morbidly obese. I know that some of you ladies don't want to hear that, and it's probably some men too, but you're morbidly obese. You're not healthy. When men see women like this, and you should know this, ladies, when men see women like this, it tells men that that woman doesn't have any discipline. There's nothing healthy about that. And you can say, well, she's cute. She, yeah, you can be cute and still be morbidly obese. It doesn't mean you're, you're healthy. That says no discipline. How is a man going to take her seriously and want to be in a relationship with her, build a family when she can't even take care of herself? Yes, it's an issue. You see, a lot of you run around and you think you can just look any kind of way. And you think people are just supposed to accept that and just supposed to handle that. But if a man really wants to be in love with the woman, he really cares about her and vice versa, that is not acceptable. It's unhealthy. Why would a man get with her and don't even know how long she's going to be on this earth? Don't even know if tomorrow she's going to come with some kind of health crisis because of her weight. But see, a lot of you ladies, you think just because you put on the makeup, you throw the filters on, and because your face is pretty, that the rest of you can just be any kind of way you want it to be and that men should accept that. No. Men are going to put you in a category that you deserve. If you don't care about your body and you don't care about your health, why do you expect men to? Why do you expect men to take you seriously? Men don't owe you that. You need to take care of yourself. So what's happening is, from my point of view, men are looking at your face, saying you're attractive, and then they see the rest of you, because I'm sure that you're probably one of those women that's on dating sites or whatever it is, TikTok, whatever it is, Instagram, all that stuff. And every picture you post is from here up. But you don't post nothing else. You backed up and showed what you had on so you could try to get some validation that you look cute. You look cute up here. Down here is not cute. Down here is not healthy. So, like I said, men look for those warning signs. And sis, that is a big one. I just like, this is three for three on dates the last minute. They're like, I'm really sorry. It's just not gonna work. And then, like, you can't say, like, we could either reschedule or meet up later tonight and expect that I'm going to be like, yeah, totally. I'll just be a booty call. abso fucking not. So I'm going to go out. Well, he's trying to reschedule and say tonight because he don't want to be seen in public. He just want to put you in, in the category he wants to put you in. It's as simple as that. Three times this keeps happening. And a lot of times women that have this type of attitude that do this type of thing, they're so desperate for relationships that they push really, really hard for one. They push really, really hard for validation. And when they don't hear what they want to hear, they don't get what they want to get. Then they want to complain about it. And see, when you pressure a man like that, when you keep pressuring and pushing like that, a man is just, just going to back, uh, back away. Because a lot of women like this have very low self-esteem. That's one reason why she backs up and shows you herself. She has low self-esteem. Ladies, take care of your whole body. Stop worrying about so much about your damn makeup. 
and how cute you are and listening to all these women tell you, oh, girl, you're fine. You're a 10. I wouldn't change anything. You can be morbidly obese and be healthy, etc., etc., etc. And ladies, remember that other women are in competition with you. They don't want to see you succeed. Misery loves company until you make it move the hell out. And I think the, the sooner you guys real, realize that a lot of these women are just giving you bad advice, the better off you'll be. Like I said, men do not want to take women like this seriously. It screams that you're irresponsible. It screams that you have insecurities. And a lot of times it screams that you're promiscuous. There's no, it's no secret that a lot of women that are overweight are promiscuous. And the reason they are is because they're trying to use their sexuality to hook a man. And it never works. They think that if I give it to him, then that's going to mean he likes me. That gonna, that's going to mean he wants to be in a relationship with me. But it doesn't because men don't connect sex to commitment. Ladies, take care of yourself. When you step out the house, look the best you can look. When you in these videos, look the best you can look. Be healthy. And you shouldn't be doing it for no man. You should be doing it for yourself. You should always want to be the best you can, can, you can be. And being morbidly obese, obese is not the best you can do. Because you was not born like that. Despite what you hear, oh, every some people are big boned and some people, are, you know, they're predisposed to when you came out, you was not like that. Those are your habits. Those those are the things that you do. And a lot of women that go through heartbreaks, go through drama, that have low self-esteem, they eat their problems away. And you say, well, Reef, how in the hell you know this? It's because I've been in fitness and nutrition for over 15 years and I've helped a lot of women overcome this. So I know for a fact, it's all about acceptance. But the thing is, you have to look in the mirror, put some ownership on you and your choices first. This has to be done for you, not a man, not society, for you. If you can do that, things will change. But if you continue to think that you can just roll and do whatever you want to do and all and men are just supposed to accept it, you're going to, you know, you're just going to keep getting let down. You know, you're going to keep getting disappointed because no matter how cute you are in your face, no matter how long and pretty your hair is, all these things, men look at women and size them up just like women look at men and size them up. It's just the nature of the game. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.